What does a bad control board on a furnace look like? This gas furnace is doing nothing and the LED light is not lit up on the board. Let's take our meter and let's check the voltage. So from R to C, we should have 24 volts. We have two volts. So we should have 24 volts coming from our transformer. And these are the two wires. Let's pull these off. And we've got a red and a blue common in 24 volts AC. And they come from the transformer. You got 120 volts in, white and black. 24 volts is our control voltage. And that is provided by our step down transformer. So let's measure the voltage. Got the leads hooked to both of the wires and we have 28 volts. So we've got voltage coming from the transformer to the board. Looks like the board has failed. Wires are plugged back up. Fuse is good. Still no LED light. Open this up here and take a look at the manual. On the back of the panel, we've got a manual here. This is great information over here where it says LED status codes. We've got a code for if the LED light is off. Secondary voltage fuse is open, so maybe the fuse is open. Door switch is not closed. There's no 115 volts, so you need to check from L1 to neutral. And then we just checked from red to blue, and it was 24 volts. So we know the fuse is good, and we have 24 volts. It's just our board's bad. Short circuit and secondary voltage. So, LED status codes. Got some information up here as well. Time to replace the board. A little tip for replacing a printed circuit board like this where you have a bunch of wires connecting to it. Just take the other board and put it in its place and then do everything wire for wire. Make sure you use the right bit. This is a quarter inch bit I'm using and we only have two quarter inch screws because the other two uh, feet of this board are slid underneath a little notch here. So that's very nice. All right, now all I do is just wire for wire this. Secondary voltage. We got the neutral wires down here. See, that's all the neutral wires. They go right here plug goes right here pretty simple and then thermostat wiring new board installed old board there got the meter set to volts AC let's apply power oh okay got a piece of tape to hold the door switch look at there so we got a LED blinking light now R and C 28 volts good deal awesome next step is power to the gas valve beautiful now fan motor board doesn't really look bad but doesn't mean it's not bad it's just another way the board can fail power in but no power out 